Hey everyone, Figure Eighty for Zombies video. I have not recorded a Black Ops 4 Zombies videos and uploaded one at all. Um, I have done live streams, but I don't think I've done a um a video about it yet. Now I decided to do Blood of the Dead first because I have this amazing theory on this map. For those of you that don't know, the Blood of the Dead Easter egg was just solved like I think yesterday or two days ago or something like that. And the ending cutscene was revealed because we obviously beat the Easter egg, so we got to see the cutscene. And uh, let me just tell you right now, it's emotional for me. I, oh my goodness! All right, um, if you haven't seen it yet, I recommend going and checking that out first before you come watch this video, because I'm gonna be spoiling the, this sucker like crazy. I'm not going to show it in this video because, like, I kind of can't. But, I tell you what I can do, and that is put a link to it in one of someone else's channel in the description. That's what I can do. I don't know if I'm going to because I don't want people to be like, oh, you just using that for views. You're just using the links for views. No, I'm not. I don't do that kind of stuff. I don't, I don't even do YouTube for, like, subscribers and fame. I do it just because it's fun. But, um, anyways, my point is, go check it out on, like, Noah's channel, or, like, Milo's channel, or, um, John's channel. They all have it on there, Kone Pizza. Kone Pizza has the 9 Easter egg, uh, cutscene in cartoon mode, so if you want to go check that out, that's pretty cool. Um, not like it looks any better because of the rendering, it's really bad. Um, but anyways, once you go check that out, come back here, and we can talk a little bit about it. If you're still here, well, um, hey... Um, if you're just now coming back from watching the video, then, uh, what's up, welcome back, and, um, let's go ahead and get started talking about this, right? So, if you've seen it, which I hope all of you have at this point now in this video, um, you know that Rick Toffin dies. Basically, the, my boy, Premise Rick Toffin dies. Um, and he dies to bleeding out, which is one of the wor weirdest ways to die. Um, I guess not weirdest, but like the wor one of the worst ways to die, because like, imagine just bleeding out to death. That, like, imagine. That sucks, dude. But like, um, he bleeds out to death pretty much in this machine. And we see, um, Templar Richtofen, which is the guy that we see at the end of Revelations. Um, when they're holding the stabs and all the zombies are in the crowd looking at them like, come on, I need to eat you. Uh, yeah, that Richtofen. Um, the one on the very right, I believe. That's Templar Richtofen. And if you've seen the cutscene, this should give you so many questions. Like, why is Templar Richtofen there? Where do they go when they walk into the portals after Richtofen pretty much dies? Why does he take the summoning key with him? How in the world does freaking, um... Templar Richtofen know about Dr. Monty. How, what time period is this set in? What time period is Blood of the Dead set in? What, where is Blood of the Dead? Obviously it's on Alcatraz, so you don't need to answer that, but you know what I'm saying. Get the point. There's a lot of questions that need to be answered with this cutscene. It's very weird, very confusing, but I think I can answer a couple of these for you today, along with my mega theory. Um, so... We can answer at least one of the things right now, and that is when this is set. So, if you played Black Ops 3 and you bought DLC 2, which is Zetsubo no Shima, then, and, and you beat the Easter Egg, you should know that at the end of the Easter Egg, at the ending cutscene, our characters travel to a different place instead of Grod Krovi, which is DLC 3, which is the next map after, uh, after Zetsubo. Um... Basically what they say, okay, we're on our way, Nikolai tries to say, like, okay, we're on our way to Stalingrad now, and then Richtofen says, no, we have other matters to attend to, and they step into, like, a portal, like a, like a rift from, like, Shadows of Evil, and when they do, um, it takes them somewhere else besides Grodd, Krovi, and it has been theorized for a very long time that the place they went to was, in fact, Alcatraz, which is now Blood of the Dead. I have to personally, at this point, agree with this theory all the way. I Nothing you can say can change my mind, and here's why. I have evidence from the game itself saying that this pretty much takes place in between those two maps, and here's why. At the ending cutscene, one of the things that Richtofen's, Templar Richtofen says, he says, Nikolai, you will need your soul. Read the Canorium, 
Keep your soul. We will need it to. We will be needing it to defeat Doctor Monty. And then Rick talk, or uh, and then Nikolai goes, who? Like he doesn't know. Because if you played Grokrovi at all, if you played any Black Ops Three uh, Grokrovi or Zetsubo, you should know that you don't find out who uh, Doctor Monty is until DLC Three. So if this does in fact take place in between um, Zetsubo and uh, Grod, it would make total sense that they didn't know who Dr. Monty was, because he they haven't been introduced to him yet. So that is my literal only piece of evidence that I have that states this fact about them being here in between Zetsubo and Grod, but I think it's 100% true. I don't think anything is going to change my mind. I think it is true that this does take place between Zetsubo and uh, Grog Kirby. Now, I think it's also in, like, books or something. Maybe, like, um... It might be in, like, comics or something. The comics saying that, um, they went to Alcatraz in between. I think it is. Or it's in something like that. So, I, I have to agree with this all the way. Now, let's get on to my mega theory, I guess. You know, I said at the beginning that at the end of the cutscene, Richtofen dies. My boy Primus Richtofen dies. Okay. What it and then and the, and then not only does he die, but then the Templar Richtofen goes with the other characters and freaking teleports places. Okay. Actually, you know what? Let's 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 backtrack for a sec. We'll go on to my mega theory soon enough. Um. If this does, in fact, this kind of actually tie, ties in with the win, but if this does, in fact, take place in between Zetsubo and Garad, and they just leave Primus Richtofen here, when they leave here to go to their next destination, when they step into the portals at the end of the cutscene, where are they going? Are they going to Garad Krovi immediately after this, or are they going somewhere else? I think it has, I think they're going to Garad Krovi immediately after this, but here's, a, here's the question. Are we playing as Templar Richtofen the entire time? Because if they just leave Primus Richtofen here, then wouldn't that make sense for Templar Richtofen to take his place, but we don't notice it, maybe? That that one I cannot answer at all. I cannot answer that one. That one's never going to get answered. Um, I mean, it will probably eventually, but like, you know what I'm saying. It's not going to get answered anytime soon. So that was another question that I really wanted to get out of the way, but, um, like, or do they go back and, or does, or do they find a way to get, now this part right here ties in with my mega theory, or do they find a way to get Richtofen back to where he was and get rid of the other Richtofen? I do not know these facts for sure, um, but I can tell you one thing is that this mega theory I have, I think is very 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 I think you're gonna think it's crazy but hear me out I swear please just please hear me out okay so we have blow the dead right we know this as a remake of mob of the dead that is what we know blow the dead as so what if they make a remake of a remake as in they make a remake of Blood of the Dead. So it would be like Blood of the Dead instead of like Mob of the Dead, but it would be a little different than Mob of, or than Blood of the Dead. I think that would be honestly so cool. Now, we know that they are going to be releasing at least one Chaos story map and at least one Ether story map just because like they haven't told I don't think they've told us that yet, but like I mean if you you can kind of put the pieces together and say that they wouldn't put customizable perks for only two maps. They wouldn't do that. They would have to have full of, full on other map. So it's just like, also they came out with, on launch day, they came out with two of each, like, oh my god. So I think it just makes sense if they release two, um, two maps per DLC, and I think they told us that they would anyways in like an interview or something, so that's pretty that's pretty cool. Um, definitely would have people playing a lot more. Also, um, if, if this is true... Then in a future DLC, maybe they would have a remake of Mob of the Dead, or Blood of the Dead at least. Um, and 
you play as the transit characters, the Victus crew. The, tra the Victus crew are the transit characters, uh, the, the characters from Transit, uh, Die Rise, and Buried. Those are the Victus crew. They are in the secret underground base that is spawned for Blood of the Dead, which actually in this gameplay I'm in right here, I'm actually looking at the things. That's, uh, I don't know their names, but I know Misty and Rustman, which that one is. Uh, and then Stoolinger, I think, is one of them, and then something else. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I didn't play Transit enough to even consider learning their names, because screw Transit. I hate Transit. But imagine if they woke up, if the Victus characters just woke up, and your and the Easter egg was a little different, and the main goal of the Easter egg was to get to Richtofen and save him and pretty much resurrect him, and then they go on to try to kill the Templar Richtofen. And then on the DLC 4, they go on with the Victus and Primus, and they all take on Dr. Monty. Imagine. That would be an epic, insane ending. Way better than Revelations, without a doubt. Just imagine that, okay? That that's pretty much my mega theory. So, um, I don't... Is there any other questions? Okay. Um, um, ask me what questions you have about the ending cutscene. In the, in the comment section down below, I will try my best to answer them because I'm not the smartest guy when it comes to stuff like that, when it comes to like storyline and stuff. I'm not the best one to ask, maybe Milo is because he like literally knows everything. Um, but doesn't mean you can't ask me because I may or may not know the answer. Now, the Cranorium is apparently different, so that may or may not have something to do with it. With the fact, with, with, maybe it has something to do with their where they go after they leave this place. But like, if they actually, but you see, now that all the stuff we said, the Grokrovi and Revelations timeline don't make sense anymore because of the Templar ripped up and going with them. So, I don't know for a fact if this map takes place in between those two, but I have very strong evidence and very strong confidence that it does. Like, I honestly do. And I just think it is. So, um, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It took me forever to record this video because it took me so long to get to it, first of all. And then, also, I had to, like, record it and then edit it. It was just, it just took a while. But, um, I'm over with it finally. So, uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy. And please leave a like and subscribe. And... I will see y'all in the next video. Bye, guys.